All right, so on today's video, we'll be going over how to animate a scene where one of your characters is holding a, uh, a flashlight. And to do that, we are going to first clear this out here all right so whatever backdrop you want to use you can uh, use um, on this backdrop I'm just going to use a forest backdrop for this and let's go uh, we're going to be basically creating a uh, vector and we are going to then, um, depicting on what you want, but I'm going to use a vector square here, and you'll just basically create that covering the uh, the entire screen. So, it's going to be square vector, and then, I mean, I'll just label this uh, night time. And it'll be this, this old square vector. All right. Then what we're gonna do here is uh, let me see. Let me zoom out here. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and label the uh, other image or the bottom image just uh, for us there. And uh, now let's go to the uh, vector image of the square, and we're gonna. Oh, I forgot, I gotta go back. Alright, so I'm gonna fix this here. So let's go back. basically um, use the eraser to just erase the space out of the uh, the vector uh, image and we got way too many points I'm going to take these out take on this it's um, I'm going to basically be leaving four points because this is going to be basically a flashlight that would be uh, turning this into and you really do not need the um, I don't think we need the stroke uh, the stroke here so I'm going to take that out all right so we have the vector image and made it black because of course we're going to be isolating it and let's go ahead and start to form this a little bit and we're just going to be forming it like it is a uh, the beam of the flashlight right so and a couple more points here so I think I'm going to have to get it a little bit more straight here and we'll move this down there we go put another one here stretch this out so basically what we're doing here we're just making a beam that will be uh, coming out of a flashlight that the character will be holding. Alright, so square this out, get this a little bit straight. See what it looks like. Um, let's move these here. Put 
this down. There we go. That'll work. Yeah, that's a couple more points here just to see if we can get it a little bit better. Score and make it a little bit more straight edge, not as round because beam of light should be kind of straight here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Alright, so basically we're going to be covering the whole scene, but the character is going to be holding uh, the flashlight, which is a beam. So when we uh, when the character is going to be manipulating the the flashlight or moving it around to see what's in the dark, we'll be basically using a turn angle. So we're going to expand this out to where uh, when we do rotate it. It will cover it will cover the uh, entire forest background. So one sec here, gotta close this out. Reopen. There we go. All right. So we're gonna just basically be stretching these so to where the um, character when it's moving the flashlight. It will be covering the whole forest scene. So, kind of like when we rotate it, you see where we can still see a little bit of the forest. The top, so we'll probably need to bow that angle out a little bit more. And let's see what that does here. Mm, a little bit. Yes, other corner here. So we're going to just move it a little bit further down because the character is going to be in, in the forest, but he's going to be kind of closer to the ground here. Let me uh, see if we can get that a little bit better. Okay, that yeah, looks okay there, that, that little corner. So we can move that a little bit. To where when we rotate, there, be sh there should be no portion that will be, will not be covered, you know. So, Wait, let's see. That's a little bit. Yeah, that might be okay for now. Alright, so now we got the uh, nighttime layer here. And. We're going to create a, uh, a group. Uh, so you'll create a group. Yes. I'm going to be enabling the group. Uh, hand. Uh, flashlight. Okay, there. Then in the way. All 
All right, now uh, that we have our beam of light and I'm going to go back to the character here. Now under the character under uh, hand left is basically the one I'm going to be using and I'm going to basically to show you I'm just going to I think I can yeah I'll duplicate this hand layer here Just to show you, I'm going to just bring it down the way the uh, the group should be, or the group layer should be. So, let's go back down here. So basically what you're going to be uh, doing here is connecting the vector image on the 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 light part of the uh, flashlight. We are going to put these in the same layer here. And if your character's hand, basically the way mine's going to rotate is going to be the angle where the wrist would be. this so we're going to move both of these into a group layer so you should have the group leg um, part The group should have the vector image and then the actual uh, hand that will be part of the character and the, the layer together. And So basically we'll kind of line it up with the flashlight here. And we'll be just basically moving our points to kind of get it as close as possible to make it look like the light is streaming from the flashlight here so I want to make a real you know straight beam coming off of it so if you did have a uh, um, a character you would basically be putting this in the uh, the hand layer and in my hand layers, it's basically a sw uh, switch layer, of course. And now, when you rotate it, wherever the light is, wherever the flashlight is, it's only going to highlight that part of wherever the light is flashing on. So. Then, since nothing is completely super dark, we're going to basically uh, 
the opacity of the actual vector layer we're going to lighten it up a little bit because you know it's dark outside but it's not black to where you can't really see the background part and that's it so wherever the flashlight is flashing uh, it'll highlight it and if you if you do have like a scene where you know the light is showing a little bit far you can extend this as much as you want the other thing that you can kind of use this technique for is um, for like a light you know like maybe there's a scene where it's a alleyway and it has like one light all right uh, appreciate you watching uh, if you need any additional help when it comes to this go ahead and send an email or leave a comment and uh, I will reply uh, as soon as I can alright I appreciate your time again and uh, thank you for taking the time out please uh, if you want to see more videos or need any other instructions um, I'll be giving a food list and breakdown uh, and some of the links there.